Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Race. So Race stars Stephen James, Jason Sudeikis, and Jeremy Irons. Race is about Jesse Owens, who is this athlete for track and field. He's on the quest to become the best, but in order to become the best, he has to be coached by Jason Sudeikis. But here's the problem. Because of his own race, you know, people are really looking at him differently. The world looks at him differently because of his color. And, you know, with Adolf Hitler and how people are viewing different races, he's still willing to train and go out there just so he can race and prove to everyone that just because he's in different color doesn't mean that he can't be a good athlete. And I'm going to be honest, I was really looking forward to race. I really liked the trailer that released. It only released like... I think a couple months before it released, so they didn't really have a whole lot of time to promote this movie. But for what I saw, I was really looking for the race. It looked really interesting. I, I'm always a sucker for these sports biopic movies. These are always my kind of movies. I always really enjoy watching these movies. And this is Jason Sudeikis's like really first dramatic role, and I was actually looking forward to seeing what Jason Sudeikis could do with race. And I will say, it's honestly a damn shame that not a lot of people are really seeing this movie because I really had such a great time with Race. Race is a really good sports biopic. I was so invested into this movie. And I think Race is honestly the perfect title for this movie because not only does it deal with, well, the race when Jesse Owens is going into the Olympics, but it deals with race, like how audiences are viewing people with different colors and how they apparently can't do this because of who they are. And Jesse Owens is that guy that shows that even though, yes, he's black, that he can still go out there and race for his country. And it is very inspirational. Of course, when you watch these movies, all you want to do is be inspired, and that's what this movie does. Speaking of Jesse Owens, Stephen James was perfect casting, and I do mean perfect in the best way possible for this movie because he portrayed Jesse Owens so well. He captured the physique of Jesse Owens, the spirit of Jesse Owens, and of course, like I said, I was looking forward to seeing Jason Sudeikis doing his first real dramatic role and I have to say, Jason Sudeikis did not disappoint in terms of that aspect because he was also so good in this film. And I was worried that he was going to have his Jason Sudeikis-isms. Maybe in just a few scenes he does, but nothing to really take away from the movie. You know, when you learn about his character, you do feel sympathy for a guy. There's a whole story you learn about him. And... It's really nice that not only did this movie flesh out his character, but they fleshed out Jesse Owens' character because he has a family of his own. You know, he wants to go to the Olympics to support his family, but to show everyone that just because he's a different color doesn't mean that he can't go out there and race for his country and, how, and he's fighting for what he believes. Definitely my favorite scenes involving this film, well, besides the racing, of course, um, and I'll get to racing a little bit, I love the scenes that just focused on Jesse Owens and the coach. You could tell both the coach and Jesse Owens really cared for one another. You want to see both of them succeed in their lives because they're honestly both. It's not just Jesse Owens, but the coach as well is in a very rough patch in his life. So to see the two of them interact, honestly, it creates for heartwarming moments in the film that I honestly really appreciate. And then, of course, Jeremy Irons, which I just forgot. Like I just knew, I just knew his name right now, and it just slipped my mind. Um, but I thought Jeremy Irons did a really good job. He plays the head of the Olympic Committee. It actually took me a while to notice that Jeremy Irons was in this film because he honestly is pretty unrecognizable. But I thought he did a really good job in this film. And Jeremy Irons, he's always going to be great. So. It, that really shouldn't be a surprise. And honestly, everyone else in this film does a really good job. But by far the standouts are Stephen James, Jason Sudeikis, and Jeremy Irons for sure. The cinematography in the film is 
gorgeous especially when you're out during the olympic scenes where you're seeing everyone racing which are very exciting to watch by the way the cinematography really adds to those scenes and it just makes it so colorful and so vibrant and you do feel like you're in the 1930s thanks to the cinematography and like i said with just the racing scenes those were filmed really great Sure, they're only about 10 seconds long. It's just like a 10 second race. They may be short, but you know, for that short amount of time, because of the Olympics and all that, it was very well done. And I was so impressed. The storyline is very well written. The movie had my attention from beginning to end. And I can see why people may have pacing problems with this film because they do have subplots in this film to serve for a storyline like, of course, you have Jesse Owens focusing on him making it to the Olympics, and then you have the coach side of the storyline, and then you have Jesse Owens' family side of the storyline, and then there's this whole thing with his love affair, which I'll get more into in a little bit. Of course, the whole thing with Adolf Hitler and the Olympics committee. So it does have a lot of plots, but honestly, most of those plots make sense. It honestly makes sense why they added those plots to serve for the story because most of them wrap up when you get towards the third act of the movie, which I thought was constructed really well, how it all just tied into that. And I was just really impressed by that. It's also a very well directed movie. I had no problem with the direction. Direction is very beautiful. But yes, it is a by the numbers biopic. And really, that's the thing you're gonna say about a lot of biopics that is by the numbers. You know where the storyline's gonna lead. You know where the movie's gonna end. It is a very by the numbers biopic. You do know where it's gonna go. That's not really a problem as long as you're engaged with it. And honestly, I was engaged with Ray so it wasn't really a huge problem with me really the only problem I could say was huge for me was this unneeded love affair plot luckily it only takes about I say it takes like a good five to ten minutes of the movie's running time like they'll focus on that for a little bit then all of a sudden it's done and I do think that whole love affair plot without going to any details was very unneeded. And honestly, overall, you guys, I thought consistently from the beginning to the end, I thought Race was a straight up engaging movie. I was never bored once. I cared about Jesse Owens, the coach. I cared about the storyline. I cared about the Olympic scenes. Those were really great. Those were very well handled. The movie does what you need to do for a biopic, which is just tell a story, have a lot of passion for it. This movie definitely had a lot of passion. You can clearly tell. And this was a nice way to just honor Jesse Owens. And I give a huge applause to the filmmakers involved in Race. So I'm going to give Race three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about race. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!